What is good guys, we are back with more smoke on snack draft, this time Solon vs Tamahome, we got some nasty stall vs a really fun team on the other side. I think the digger speed is either going to be Z-move or Bandit, then the Empoleon is going to be Rocks, a bulky Rocky Helmet Tornadoes with Defog, Sapria could be Subseed, uh, it could also be Scarf, I'm not sure about that. And um, probably a Spadaf Bulu to help with the Alakazam matchup, and then uh, yeah, either Digger speed or Coco is the Z-move user. Coco could, Coco could also be Magnet or Shuka if it's not Z. So one yeah, just brings Filthy Stall with Mega Slowbro, um, Roxy Powder on, probably with Toxic, Leech Seed Spikes, uh, Chestnut. Is a Muck with Block. Um, so this Empoleon might just be trapped. Never mind, he has Raw. <laughs> so Chansey comes out. I think this Chansey is going to be Softballed. It might have Wish Pass to keep the Muck healthy. Um, yeah, we could see, I mean, if he has rocks, he could go for Roxy, but I think the rocks are most likely on the hip powdown. And I think this is going to be softballed Wish Seismic Toss. And then the last move could be Toxic, or it could be Heal Bell, one of those two, I think. And yeah, Muck is a Spadev Wall, which is able to deal with stuff like um, Blacephalon and Lele for this team. Uh, Mega Slowbro is there to deal with Zardex, even though hip powdown can also check that. Uh, I think we're just going to see a Seismic Toss here from Soulwind. And he goes for Softball in instead, playing it safe, keeping it chancy healthy. Guess what we're going to do with Powdown? He's going to switch out uh, into either like Chansey or Muck on a Scald here. Um, yeah, he either has Wish Pass to keep the Muck healthy, or he has Rest on the Muck. One of the two things um, is what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, he gets Chip on the Empoleon, and um, he knocked off the leftovers already. Gets in the Diggers B there on a double, and this Diggers B is a problem. Which is, we see it's a leftovers mug. I don't know if that was revealed earlier. Um, he might just have to pick something here if this is Bandit. Um, and even if it's Z-move, it can go for SD and put Sowen in a really bad spot. Because if he loses the Muck, um, the Superior can be really annoying for Sowen if it's... Um, like Leaf Stone plus HP Fire destroys the Chestnut, and if it's Subseed, it can annoy the shit out of Solwyn's team. So he kind of wants the Muck to check the Superior. If he loses that, Superior can go in. So I think he's kind of forced to go in a Slowbro, but Slowbro is not Mega Evolved yet, which means it will probably take a lot. Uh, let me open my calculator here. So Diggers B. Okay. Um, Slowbro. I mean, I put Mega Slowbro in. If Slowbro is already Mega Evolved. Um, Return the 39 to 46 if it's banded. And um, if he goes for SD, I will run the calc. Um, if he goes for SD, I mean, it depends if he's Jolly or if he's Adamant. I mean, if he's banded, I think he's just gonna click return here. If he's SD, I think then he's gonna SD up. But yeah, if he um, if he's Jolly SD, then plus two, re plus two Z move would um, do so much to Mega Slow, bro. Good god. Um, Breaknate Blitz at plus 2 would do 81 to 96 to Mega Slowbro if it's Jolly. If it's Adamant, it would destroy it and always kill it. Um, actually, that's Adamant, never mind. I was calking Adamant, yeah. Adamant does 81 to 96 plus 2 Breaknate Blitz to Mega Slowbro. So if he goes to Slowbro here and it's um, SD into Z move, then it's a roll to kill the Slowbro. So, like, he doesn't really have a switch in outside of Slowbro. But if it's banded, the Slowbro is not mega yet and probably gets 2 it KO'd. And if it's SD Z move, then it's also still a roll to kill the Slowbro. So, like, Sowen is in a tough spot here, depending on the Diggers be set. Uh, if it's okay, if it's Jolly, then he might be fine to go into Slowbro. But if it's Adamant, um, let me let me actually call Choice Bandit versus Slowbro that is not mega evolved yet. And we're also gonna call Z move afterwards. So, Slowbro that is 216 Bolt. Um, versus Diggers B that is, um, okay, we we're just gonna see now, he's gonna switch out into Slowbro. Return comes out, let's see, that is Choice Bandit, and I think that's actually Adamant, that does 59, hello, dude. Um, yeah, plus two Breakneck Blitz would have Oko'd regular Slowbro, obviously. Um, if it was SD, and even plus two Return could have done around 80 to Slowbro if he got a high roll. But that's if he's Jolly, if he's Adamant, he could have killed Slowbro with plus two Earthquake, potentially without using the Z even. But yeah, Bandit return just to it kills. Um, he's Bandit, not um, not Z-move. I was just running all the calcs. So the next return is gonna send something packing. I'm pretty sure the Hippodon cannot switch in. Because the Slowbro just took 59, which means this is confirmed adamant. Um, let me give it a choice, Bandit and the calc to make sure. I mean, it's obviously Bandit. 
So Slowbro before Mega Evolution takes um, 56 to 67 from Choice Bennett Diggersby if it's adamant. And if it's Jolly, I just want to confirm if it's adamant or if it was a Jolly Max rule. If it's Jolly, it would have done 51 to 61. Damn, that might actually be Jolly and it just got a high roll. Dude, Diggersby is so strong. Hello. And this was an amazing pick for Tama Home. And, like, um, Solman does not have a steel type and he also does not have a ghost type. So he just has to sack. Whenever Diggersby comes out, he has to sack something. And I don't think he can win this. Um, Tama Home just has to play it right and he will be fine. And eventually, uh, when Solman's um, team breaks down because he has to pick one every time with Diggersby, that opens up other mons on Tama Home's side. Like if. Zapdos, for example, goes down. Um, Tornadus is also really annoying for Solvent. Knocking, like it's able to knock off everything and U-turn around. And annoy the shit out of Solvent. And I mean, Diggersby alone might just be able to do it for Tamahome. Um, and yeah, the thing is, even if Solvent Mega Evolved the Slowbro early in the game, um, he would have lost his Regenerator. And um, if Rocks up, he, his Slowbro would get chipped every time it comes out. So. I don't think Megging in the Slowbro early, early would have changed much. Um, this was just a really good pick, I guess. Did he know Tholwind might bring stall? I know Tholwind likes to stall every now and then. Uh, Mega Evolving is not going to save you. Goodbye. <laughs> so now um, yeah, I was going to say either Chestnut or Powder can come out. And yeah, Tamahom is obviously going to switch out here into his Tornadoes most likely. Um, Tholwind could go for Spikes, I guess. He could also pull a double into Zap to get off a Defog. Um, but he probably wants the spikes. He needs like every hazard he can get to chip down this Diggers B later on in the game. And yeah, I don't know if I talked about all the sets yet. I think this is going to be a Leech Seed Spikes Chestnut with um, maybe Drain Punch. And the last move could be um, either Grass Step or it could also be HP Ice. Depending on if the Slowbro had Ice Beam to deal with Zygarde. And uh, also, yeah. I mean, Chansey might have Heal Bell just to help versus like status, because like Toxic Zygarde is annoying for this team if he doesn't have Heal Bell. So now he's going to try to softball here, there's a knockoff. And he doesn't hit himself. Um, U-turns out, he can just go for Seismic Toss. I'm actually surprised that he went hard into Diggersby because Diggersby just wins. But I mean, he knew he could live that, and now Return just gets a kill again. Because the Chansey does not have a Violet, which means it cannot live this Bob. Chansey goes down. Now either Hippodon or Chestnut comes out, Hippodon comes out. Um, if this stays in, I guess you can kill it with Earthquake here, maybe. Um, otherwise, if he predicts a switch here, he would go for Rocks. Let's see if he goes for Rocks or Earthquake. He goes for Rocks. And yeah, obviously, <laughs> Diggersby is going to kill this with two returns. I mean, it's Rocky Helmet, which is at least good chip for Solwind. But like, <laughs> hello, this game is over. Diggersby already killed half the team. And what the fuck? Yeah, okay, he's able to kill the Diggersby, but who cares? Now Coco comes out, and um, Coco is most likely a Zemo variant. And um, I think we're just going to see a T-Ball here from Tamahome. As he gets a crit on the Chestnut, uh, he can potentially HP Ice, or, what, or if HP Ice doesn't kill, he can switch out, but instead he goes for Z-Dazzle Demon and just kills the Chestnut. I mean, Z-Move made a lot of sense since the DGSP was banded, yeah. And yeah, Torn is Helmet most likely. So this game is pretty much wrapped up. The Muck is already low. Muck cannot heal, like even if Muck has rest, Electric Terrain is up, so it cannot go for that. I think Zapdos is around half of the rocks. And um, if Tamahome has a Spadef Bulu to help with the Alakazam matchup, that can also beat Zapdos when we won. If it's SD or Bulk up with like Synthesis or Protect, especially if it has Synthesis, um, Bulky Synthesis Bulu with SD beats Zap with Ease as long as it doesn't get hexed. As why did the um, Avatar disappear and the team disappear? The team is like, nah, let me run away from this guy. Hello, <laughs> okay, it's back. But yeah, um, what does he do? Poison jab, knockoff, knockoff, gets rid of the Empoleon. Tornadus comes out and we're gonna see Hurricane on knockoff from Tamahome. Uh, Defog is actually also a play. Yeah, I think Defog is also fine here. Just to get rid of the hazards on his side. Yeah, he already revealed Hurricane knockoff in U-turn. Last move is probably Defog. Um, I mean, he killed like everything. Nah, he might want the rocks. He doesn't have to defog, he might want the rock still to chip the zap down, so he just knocks off the black sludge. And so when he tries to go for rest and electric terrain, which I don't get why he did that. Uh, obviously that does not work, but I mean, not that like it matters, this game was over anyway. He gets a crit there with knockoff, and so this is a knockoff rest. Poison jab, block muck, hello. <laughs> did he reveal poison jab? I don't remember. So now Coco can just click T-Bolt tw twice. And even if Zapdos somehow lives to T-Bolt, uh, I mean T-Bolt after rocks, if Zapdos lives it. 
Um, he still wins um, with his other mons in the back. As he does just kill it. That might have been a roll. I don't know. Depends on the Coco set. I assume it's just max special attack since it was Z move. Thank you guys for watching. Um, check out my um, Twitter link that I will put in the description where you can vote when you want my videos to go up. There's like four different times I gave you to vote. Uh, to vote on. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Um, it was really cool at first. I thought this game might take forever, but Diggersby was able to just run through the thicks, kind of. I mean, even though it only killed three months, then it went down. That was fire. Good God. Peace out, friends. <laughs> Smash the like button. And I'll see you next time.